Assalamu alaikum. My today's lecture is about deconstruction. The word deconstruction doesn't mean to demolish. It is the philosophical movement to getting the meaning. The term deconstruction was coined by French philosopher Jacques Derrida in 1960s. Derrida is a theorist, philosopher and writer. Philosophy, literary criticism and literary theories are his areas of interest or study. He received a great deal of popularity for his theories and writing style and equally as much criticism for them. In 1967, he introduced the theory of deconstruction and became the father of deconstruction. In general, deconstruction is a philosophy of meaning which deals with the ways of meaning is constructed by writers, texts and readers. Main points of deconstructions are logocentrism, phalogocentrism, reader-centered and intertextuality. Let me define these terms. The reader challenged long tradition of being centered. The, he said the word logo stands for the word God presence, center, and morality, etc. It means that these words are always the, at the center position in the concept of human discourse. According to him, writer is at the center. That's why he challenged spoken words are only way of presence and gave the priority of writing over speech. Logocentrism. It is a neologism coined by Jacques Derrida to refer the privilege of masculine in construction of meaning. It explained that it is the society who changed our beliefs. Binaries are not equally opposite. One must have priority over other and it is given by the society. For example, men are dominant over women in the world, but in Amazon, women are dominant than men. In post-structural theory, Derrida explained that we need to understand the things according to the writer, writer's point of view, but in this theory of deconstruction, he demolish, he deconstruct the idea of writer. He explained that reader is at the center and every reader gets the meaning of the word according to the culture's knowledge. The last point is intertextuality. Jacques Derrida explained the intertextuality concept that there is nothing outside the text, which means all text resides the interpretation and reinterpretation of the text. No text exists outside the interpretation. This is all about the deconstruction and thank you so much for watching this video.